Hi, everybody. I'm Prentice Donahue, the EVP of the SMB and Consumer Business Unit at OpenText, dialing in or ringing in here from our former WebRoot headquarters in Colorado. And first of all, I want to thank you for joining and welcome to all the MSPs, uh, SMBs, channel, RMM, and technology partners. This is a WebRoot meeting, but as you can see over my shoulder, I want to briefly touch on how this fits into OpenText. Some of you may not know OpenText, but legions of customers know us as the information management company. And whether that's content management or e-discovery, business networks, uh, we have a capture and, and collaboration group, digital experience, all of which ensure intelligent and connected customers. But what was missing? So cyber resilience. So we needed to make it secure. And now our customers and our offerings lead into an intelligent, secure, and connected business. So each part of the world in the last year has experienced the pandemic differently. And so normal is, uh, is, is not the same to everyone, particularly as we, as we look at the vaccine rollouts. But, but where we can universally agree is the acceleration of digital transformation and cloud adoption over this past year in particular to make working virtually more secure. So new normal for our customers and partners this past year has included more cyber resilience and uh, uh, many would argue we're all getting better at it. So a recent survey on the impact of ransomware shows that 70% of businesses are recovering in a day or less. We see more holistic security uh, with external audits and MSP outsourcing. We see more security awareness training being adopted, particularly in the U.S. and catching up elsewhere to, to better manage employees working from home. And we've not been standing still when it comes to innovation. Some of our top, uh, top 10 developments include re-architecting our technology for the future of, of our customer needs, which uh, includes developing the best DNS protection and pr product for our MSPs and businesses to cover work from home and reduce risks from, from the, the internet usage that's touching all of our businesses. We've won lots of awards for our in-house security awareness training solution built entirely around the needs of MSPs and businesses. And there's content that's intuitive and easy, comprehensive, and very effective. We've introduced new patented technology around scripts and files and advanced APT detection and that's the, the new WebRoot Evasion Shield. Uh, we've been working with SE Labs to provide a, a comparative picture of our efficacy at preventing and stopping attacks in winning their highest rating, a AAA, in fair industry-approved methodology testing. It's not, this is not biased or paid-for testing. This is industry uh, models, all from third party and getting up to that AAA for the first time ever. It's, it's highly differentiated. We're partnering with more MDR vendors, and we're continually investing in integrations in our Unite API, and that fits into customers' IT ecosystems very nicely. Um, we have the latest, latest examples from Kaseya and, uh, and, and lots of other uh, um, uh, integrations that have been taking place. We've also been investing in Bright Cloud, our threat intelligence services. This is massively differentiated as well, and we're looking to expand that out to an even broader set of our customer base. So to go into more detail about these developments and how they set us up for the future, I'd like to introduce Dave DeFore, who's also in our, here in our former WebRoot headquarters, our VP of Engineering. And over to you, Dave, please. Hi, I'm Dave. Uh, thanks for the introduction, Prentice. Um, it's great to be here. You know, we spent a lot of time uh, working on our, our, our engineering backend solutions with the console, some new features and functionality I want to talk about. Um, but, but I really want to, you know, make sure you, you hear from the engineering team how, how proud and excited we are for, for this. You know, it took the sales and marketing team, uh, you know, the product team, 
uh, a lot of effort to go out, reach out to you all, uh, work with our advisory board, work with our customers directly to get as much feedback as we could around the usability, the functionality. And we really took that to heart and spent a, a significant amount of time reworking this, this console rewrite. Um, it's, it's incorporated a lot of the recommendations that you all had, and some of those recommendations we expanded upon that. Um, and we really feel like taking that feedback from, from everyone has, has helped us really put together a, a really solid solution that, that we're very proud of from the engineering side. It really feels much better from a usability perspective. On top of that though, it's not just about uh, the, the look and feel and the flow. We've spent a significant amount of time enhancing the efficacy of our current product base. We never rest on our heels with the uh, core solutions that we offer. We put things like foreign uh, code shield, script shield, you know, we have uh, a functionality that folks don't even know about called the evasion shield, or if you're not familiar with it, it, it actually is in the product. You do have to enable that yourself. Uh, we like people to enable that to make sure we're not triggering too many false positives in environments, but it's something to look at and we can work with you on how best to configure that. But but these this functionality has really improved the overall efficacy of our solutions and it's protecting uh, our customers and their clients better and better. On top of those, you know, the, the new look and feel, the, the deeper efficacy functionality, we have solutions that plug into the console now like DNS, which is a huge uh, uptick in the ability to protect uh, environments before threats get inside the network. So it's something to really consider if you can. We've seen a massive increase in efficacy of the overall suite uh, by simply enabling and installing DNS, which runs right next to our WSA endpoint solution. And, and by doing so, instead of uh, threats getting on the machine and then we prevent it uh, uh, from infecting, we're actually blocking those threats from actually landing in your uh, infrastructure. So, so, you know, that's a lot about where we are, but what we really want to make sure you know is we're not resting on our laurels here. We're going to continue to enhance uh, both the user experience. We're going to continue to spend a significant amount innovating around the, the efficacy, uh, the, the ability of, of the products to uh, protect you all. And, and, and in doing all of that, that, that promise we're making there, we really want people to, to come back and try the product. Maybe your trial has expired. Uh, maybe you didn't use it. Uh, you, you signed up for a trial and, and didn't experience it. So uh, we're going to be re-enabling all of those uh, trial time periods. So please take the time, take a look. Uh, if you've got feedback, great. If you have questions, reach out. We love to, to hear from everyone. So really look forward uh, to, to hearing how the, the new solution set looks and feels and look forward uh, to future product uh, releases as well. Thank you.